Hi all, we're taking a look here at uh, SoundCloud. I'm already signed in. Uh, in order to start an account, uh, you can use uh, Facebook. Many of us are a little bit apprehensive about using Facebook to sign up for stuff. You can also create an account uh, you know, using your own login information, um, but it's pretty much Facebook and then having your own setup. Um, this is me right now up on SoundCloud. So you can see here's the clips that I've had uh, that I've put up here. Um, there's a couple other clips that I have, but all of them are private. Um, I'll explain later about why that might be something that you want to choose to do. So in SoundCloud, it's pretty easy. Um, what you want to do in order to create a clip is basically start off. You can upload something and share it. Um, you know, I can choose files that I've already recorded. So that's when I could use Audacity to record something or, you know, have it from an MP3 file. I can also just click uh, record and record right from my sh machine. That's what I'm going to do right now. And when I do this, I'm going to show you how to save it as a private file and explain why I think you should do that. So I'm going to hit record and it's going to make sure that I allow this to record off of here. So you can see it's recording right now. Pretty simple. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I like this. It's drop dead simple. And I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. And I can check out exactly what I just recorded. This is record off of here. So you can see it's recording right now. Pretty simple. It's having some of the issues right now because of the audio I'm using. I'm recording this and recording another piece on my computer. Um, but nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead and upload this to SoundCloud. And it titles it. You can see that it's uploading it right now. I can add in a description here. And then uh, I can tell what kind of recording it is. I can tag it. So if you had it with other pieces for your class, um, basically I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, make it a private clip. Uh, and then I'm going to, it says I can add or remove people if you wanted to. You could save it and add, you know, individual students or colleagues. I think that's a little bit too more work, too much work uh, than we need to do right now. I'm going to uh, basically enable downloads, have a widget, and then also apps. And then once that's all said and done, I'm going to save it. So it's already uploaded. It's in the cloud. Um, it's private, as we talked about before. And that's nice if you want to protect yourself or protect the work of your students. I suggest that's the way to start with SoundCloud. Um, and then the next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and share. And what's nice about this is I can make a secret link and share this secret link with my students and direct my students right to the audio clip and don't have them go through SoundCloud. I can also shorten that link and make it something a little bit easier for me and them to remember. I can also embed this. So you can embed this in your Wikispaces page and Google Sites on your classroom website and you can have a nice little widget that's on your page where the students go to your website, your online place, and they play that audio clip instead of going to SoundCloud. Um, and then once again, this is all private. Um, so if I go back to, if you were logged in and you went to my page, you would not be able to see this audio clip. And the nice reason, the reason why I suggest that you keep it private is if you go to SoundCloud by itself, okay, then your kids have to go in and they have to search for you. They have to try and hunt down the clip that you had. Um, you know, this was easy because my name is pretty easy to find in here. But let's say they go in and they look for uh, Pinsky. Okay, there's tons of stuff that they're looking through. Um, also, if they go in and they're just looking at the main page, there is some material. Uh, this is a healthy, vibrant online social network that's devoted to music. There are some tracks up on here that are, you know, for clubs. There's stuff that's a little bit questionable material. Okay, obviously, you know, we have the, the F-bomb showing up on this screen. So it's a perfect way to hammer home my point. I'd suggest that you use this as an opportunity to protect yourself and your students by grabbing that embed code, grabbing those secret links, sending those to your students. The best use of this, the most digitally savvy use of this, is grabbing that embed code and plug it into your page. So that's how you create a SoundCloud clip. Keep it private, share it with your students, use the embed codes, and be smart about how we're sharing this stuff with our kids.